juice? Yeah. Okay. This one I built myself. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, it's all from, it's like a kit. Yeah. I got a bad knee, but I got the motor from Luna. And, uh, so, it's pretty nice. That's what I think about doing once I got my other mountain bike. Uh huh. Yeah, it's so, you know, if you get it from Luna, they soup it up a little bit, and uh, this thing will climb. I mean, even with my big butt, anything, you know, especially I get it, got it geared kind of low. So the kit, you got the motor, you got the battery. Yeah, well, they're independent components, but okay. sort of, yeah. And But, I mean, the motor comes with everything but the battery, basically. Oh, and then um, I got a twist throttle on it, just so, um, but uh, it's pretty nice. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I got almost 3,000 miles on it. Wow. So. September. Uh huh. So I got about 700 miles on it. This thing saved my life. I mean it. I, I was. I, I have a bad hip and a bad knee, and I had become just like a couch potato. I did not get off the couch. And, you know, I, I'm like, I got to do something before I just die here. And. Well, that, yeah, when you get older and stuff like yeah. that, right, exactly. You got to think of different ways to get yourself moving, motivated, yeah. things like that. And that's why I try to tell people this about this. And yeah, I mean. I I've been stopped in here about 50 times in here since last year. Oh, really? Yeah. People ask you about it? Yeah, I live right down the road here. And uh, so people stop and say, what do you, what do you got there? And I, I recommend it, especially anybody who's, you know. Yeah, oh, if you got okay, mobility issues. Three, yeah. I mean, for me, I mean. If I, with my hip and my knee, if I walk a hundred feet on the beach, right. I'm dead. Right. And I just went, you know, as far that way as I possibly could, and as far that way as, you know, over ten miles on the beach today. Yeah, with that, so. you can adjust it to how yeah. much work you wanted to do. And, yeah, because yeah, there are days when you feel better. Right? Yeah, exactly. Elevation. Sometimes you're like, man, this, I would do more of this if it wasn't for that hill. So, mm -hmm. well, this eliminates <laughs> that hill. <laughs> yeah, so I've been, yeah. It's, That's why I try to tell people it's, you know, then you get the other, the, the you know, the fuss budgets that like can't <laughs> can't comprehend what yeah. you know. It's like, you know, whatever. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so I ended up changing these tires because I most of my riding's on the road, you know, and so these actually do really good in sand, and they do really good on the road. Wow. They're not very good for mud or snow, but uh, um, how much tire pressure? Um, I'm running uh, about. 18 I think right now a little high but see the other thing nice is it has that central rib on it so when it's pumped up hard it's like a road tire and it rolls really nice and uh, and then if I want to go like and I should probably should lower the pressure in the sand but it seems to be doing just fine so um, so yeah but tonight I changed up the brakes on it with these bigger brakes and and I've been happy with it. I'm gonna. I'm trying to get my. So I just retired, and I, we bought a motorhome. My wife hasn't retired yet, and I think that's our plan. You know, the plan was to not like tow a car behind us, but just bring e-bikes. You know, and that gives us 20 miles around where we camp and stuff like that. And so I'm hoping to get her one too soon, and we'll go from there. So. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, have a great day. Uh, you too. Nice talking to uh, you. you too.